A stronghold simply is, say this with me, a lie believe then live. Say it again with me. A lie believe then live. You see, the mind has this incredible ability to lie to you. Some of you think you're losers in the room. Some of you have been told when you're a young man that you're lazy. That you're lazy by a well-meaning dad who wanted to help you. Then a well-meaning mom comes and she says, you know, your father's right. You've always been lazy. And the next night at dinner, your father comes and he says, you know, I don't think you're ever going to amount to anything. And then you go to your first day at school as a little guy, and man, the kids are getting the ABCs like this. They're getting the ABCs like this. And the two girls next to you look at you and say, boy, he's real cute, but he's real stupid. And these events in your life start building walls of belief. And then maybe a few years later, you take another test and you find out that you just really don't have what it takes. And then as a young boy, you try sports and everybody seems to be good in sports, but the other kids are making fun of you because you can't hit. And then maybe you have a dad who really had no confidence in himself. And he starts giving you a philosophy that you need to cheat the government every chance you get, life's not fair, and you need to steal and cheat and angle everything you can do in life. So you develop a belief system that says life's not fair and self-pity moves in. Satan is your enemy. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. He comes to steal your identity so you don't know who you are. He comes to kill your purpose so you don't know why you exist. Mark Twain said the two finest days of your life is number one when you were born and number two when you find out why you were born. We know that as Christian men. And number three, he comes to destroy your mission so you don't know what to do. How does he do that? By neglect, getting you to neglect your gifts. So Satan comes and he's watched this in your life and he starts throwing lies because that's his method of operation. And he starts saying like this, you don't have the ability that the other people have. You know, don't you remember the time he reminds you of your past. He reminds you of the wounds in your life. He cements these bricks together. And the world is out here and you're here posing, presenting an image for the world. And you're in pain, you're crying, and what do you do? We hide. We hide. We hide behind work and business. We hide behind family. We hide behind an image that we portray to our buddies. We hide behind our sports teams. What is this called, gentlemen? It's called a stronghold. What happens is there lies built brick by brick, failure by failure, wound by wound, that wreck our lives. They wreck our lives to a point where we're an operative. This is the history of habit. 